Nazareth. You will do good things, greater and mighty things in your life, in your family, in Jesus' name. I speak authoritatively into your life. Every activities of Satan in your marriage, in the life of your children, in your business, shall be paralyzed in Jesus' name. We want to pray for our states, river states, and Bonnie Kingdom. I read from the shame of Psalm 122, verse 6 and 7. The psalmist said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of River State. Pray for the peace in Bonnie Island. They shall, proper, they shall prosper that love thee. Give me a louder amen. Peace be within the wall and prosperity within the palace. Give me a louder amen. Let's lift our voice to God Almighty and hand over this state, River State, into the hands of God. Let's pray that God of heaven and earth, he will continue to protect us. He will continue to give us peace. The peace of God will continue to reign in this river state. Open your mouth and pray for peace. Oh, pray, open your mouth and pray for peace and security. Peace and security. Peace and progress in river state. Let's pray on the sea. God will secure our life. In river state, there shall be peace. As we are preparing to cross over to the month of October, remember the GCK is coming back to river state. Let's pray for peace and security. Let's pray for peace and security in River State. Let's commit our governor and his executive council and other hands of the government in the state. Let's commit them into the hands of God. Let's pray for divine wisdom upon our governors, upon our, mini uh, our ministers, our uh, uh, commissioners, and all the local government chairmen. Pray for them that God will give them divine wisdom to lead the state. Pray for good governance. Pray for peace and progress in the state. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's hand over this first stage into the hands of God. Pray for our governor. Pray for all the executive council and other hands of the government in the state. Let's pray for divine wisdom. Let's pray that God will give them our governor divine direction. Let's pray that God will guide them. Pray and talk to the Lord. All the, Shia, uh, the local government chairmen. God will give them divine wisdom to guide and lead the state. To lead that the affairs local government. Let's pray for our Boni local government child person. Let's pray for her. That God will endow her with wisdom. Wisdom to lead and direct. God will give unto her. Let's pray. There shall be peace. There shall be progress. In River State, in Boni Island, and all the local government in River State. Let's ask God that God will allow peace to reign. The power of God will prevail. There shall be security. There shall be tranquility. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's pray for divine enablement to River State Government to complete all developmental projects in every sector in this state. Open your mouth and pray that God will help our leader, our governor, and all the people that work with him, that God will help them to complete all the developmental projects in this state. Open your mouth and pray. Commit our governor into the hands of God. Pray for him that God will lead and guide him. That the Spirit of God will continue to lead and guide him. Pray that he will lead us in the fear of God. The fear of God will build upon him and all the members of his cabinet. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We want to pray for Bonnie Kingdom. The Bible says in the book of 1 Timothy, in the book of 1 Timothy, I read 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 I saw therefore that first of all supplications prayers, intercession and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty that is the word of God we want to pray according to the scripture this morning. As we pray for our kings, the kings of Boni Kingdom, and, and, every, and all the chief, the local government chair person, let's pray for them that God will guide them, God will lead them in the fear of God. They will direct the affairs of this kingdom. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for our king. Pray for the chief, the, the chief's council, the Boni local government chair lady, and all the ESCO pray for the fear of God. Fear of God upon them. 
in directing the affairs of this kingdom. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray for them. Let's pray in this island. God will secure our life. The Bible says, if God did not wash over the city, the watchmen, they are washing in faith. My brothers and sisters, commit this island into the hands of God. That God that washed over Jerusalem will wash over this island. On the sea, God will protect our people that are traveling by sea. God will not allow any mischief, any evil to befall on them. The Bible says when we are passing through the sea, the sea will not swallow us. Let's take God by his word that on the sea, God will protect us. Let's commit all our fishing ports in Boni Kingdom into the hands of God. Agaja, Fakpa, Ajalamonia, all the fishing ports, River Seven. Let's pray that God will protect our fishermen. God will protect them from sea. Every activities of the wicked one on the sea shall be paralyzed. All the wicked people that are terrorizing our fishermen on the sea, God will arrest them. God will scatter their plan. God will arrest them. God will scatter them. Let's pray for all our fishing ports in rivers in Bonnie Highland that God will secure our men, our women. Every inhabitant that lives in that fishing port shall be protected. God will wash over them. God will protect them. Our fishermen shall be protected. All the evil that is going on on the sea, God will take it away. God will stop them. Every activities of marunders, every activities of sea pirates shall be paralyzed and scattered. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's join our faith together as we pray for the completion of Boni Buddha project. Boni Buddha road project shall be completed to the glory of the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, every entrance, every obstacle that wants to hinder the completion of, completion of this project shall be removed, shall be removed. Every activities that want to stop this project shall be paralyzed. Boni Buddha project will come to reality. Boni road Boni Buddha road project shall come to reality. Let's open our mouth and pray. God will complete that project to the glory of his name. All the contractors, they will walk with fear of God. Let's open our mouth and pray. Boni Buddha road project, God will complete that project. God will work with the contractors. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We want to pray for job opportunity in this island for our brethren. All our brethren in the church, God will give them jobs. Give me a ladder, amen. All our contractors, God will give them contracts. Give me a ladder, amen. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, there shall be job opportunity for all our brethren in the church. All our contractors, God will give them big contracts. This train seven project will favor us. This train seven project that is going on shall favor our brethren in the church. Those that are looking unto God for job, God will give them jobs. All our contractors in the church, God will favor them with jobs. God will favor them with good contracts. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's open our mouth and pray that all our youth, boys and girls, our men, women that are looking unto God for jobs, God will give them job opportunities. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you have prayer requests, you have testimony, please go and meet our counselor at the back. And as you submit your prayer request, as you share your testimony, testimony will not cease in your lives in Jesus' name. Give me a louder amen. Give me a louder amen. Let's rise up on our feet now. You are a soldiers of Christ. We want to pray the warfare prayer. And as you pray this prayer this morning, God will answer your prayers in Jesus' name. In the book of Psalm 18, verse 44 and 45. Psalm 18, verse 44 and 45, I read. Psalm 18, verse 44 and 45. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The stranger shall submit themselves unto me. Every stranger walking against your head, every stranger in your home, every stranger in your body, they will submit. They will obey. They will bow in Jesus' name. In verse 45, 
the stranger shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Give me a louder amen. Who are those strangers? That sickness in your body is a stranger. Your body is the temple of God. Who are the strangers? That thing that is tormenting you in your body. That moving object. That sickness. All those moving objects shall be evacuated in Jesus' name. Every stranger in your body. All those things that is working against your head. is a stranger in your body. God did not create you with them. And this morning, because your body is the temple of God, every stranger shall come out by fire in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and say, Lord, this morning, every stranger in my body, every moving object, all those sicknesses that is working against my head, they are stranger in my body. Lord, let them be evacuated. Uproot them from the roots. Let every sickness be uprooted. Open your mouth and pray. 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 I believe you can pray more than that. That arrow that is in your body is a stranger. Your body is the temple of God. It's not the temple of sickness. That sickness shall be evacuated. That stranger shall, be, shall, shall, shall submit this morning. That stranger will come out from your body. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Open your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give me a louder amen. In Psalm 34, verse 19, the psalmist says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Sickness is an affliction from the pit of hell. Amen. Poverty is an affliction. Failure is an affliction. Disappointment is an affliction. Premature death is an affliction. Rest up on your feet and say this morning, O Lord, deliver my family from every form of affliction. Lord, deliver me this morning. Deliver my family this morning from every form of affliction. Open your mouth and pray. Rise up on your feet. God will strengthen you. This is a spiritual warfare prayer. Every power that is afflicting you, they will lose dominion over your life this morning. Every demonic spirit afflicting your family, the power of God will destroy them this morning. Every power that is afflicting our business shall be consumed with fire this morning. This morning, O oh Lord, deliver my family from every form of affliction. Affliction of sickness, affliction of joblessness, affliction of barrenness, affliction of disappointment. O oh Lord, this morning, deliver my family this morning from every form of affliction. My sister, my brother, open your mouth. God will deliver your family. God will deliver your children. God will deliver your business from every form of affliction. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Psalm 35, verse 4. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. All the wicked ones, the demonic spirit assigned to afflict your soul, they will be confounded in Jesus' name. Let them be turned back and brought to confession that devises my heart. All those enemies that are monitoring your, your life, monitoring your business for evil, monitoring your family, God will disappoint them in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and say this morning, every monitoring spirit, every power that is monitoring my family, God this morning by your fire, by your power, let that monitoring spirit be consumed with fire. Let every power that is haunting for my soul be disappointed. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. God will put your enemy to shame. All the enemy of progress shall be put to shame. All the enemy of progress, God will put them to shame this morning. Every monitoring spirit that enemy has assigned to monitor your life, monitor your business, monitor your marriage, the fire of Holy Ghost will consume them. The Bible says, my God is a consuming fire. Every monitoring spirit assigned to monitor your family, assigned to monitor your progress and blessing, the fire of God will burn them. The fire of God will destroy them. Every spirit assigned to torment your family, the power of Holy Ghost will consume and destroy them this morning. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. 
Give me a louder amen. In Psalm 68, verse 1, let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. Let them also that hate you hate me. Flee before us in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and say, Oh Lord, arise this morning. Lord, arise by fire this morning. We are ever the enemy of progress. We are ever the gather. Or the enemy of the church. Or the enemy of progress. The enemy that are waging war in the daytime, in the night. Lord, scatter their plan this morning. Lord, scatter them this morning. We are ever they gather this morning. That demonic spirit shall be scattered. All the forces of darkness that are waging war against your spiritual life. God will scatter them this morning. All the enemy that surrounded you in that place, in, 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 in that place where you are walking. God will frustrate their plan and scatter them. Wherever the enemy has gathered, in the bush, in the forest, on the sea, the power of Holy Ghost will scatter them. Let God arise. Let his enemy be scattered. Let those that hate you hate me flee before us. Take God by his word and say this morning, scatter the plan of the evil one. All the enemy of progress shall be scattered. Wherever they gather, God will scatter them. The witches and wizards, God will scatter their plan. Over your family, over your marriage, over your business. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give me a louder amen. In Psalm 71, verse 4 and 5. Deliver me, oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked. Are you ready to say it? Huh? Are you ready to confess that word of God into your life now? Say it with me. Deliver me, oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked. Are you ready to turn it to prayer? Confess into your life and say this morning, I take you by your word. Your word says you will deliver me this morning. And I call upon your name. Deliver me, oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked. Out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Lord, deliver my children. Lord, deliver my wife from the hand of the wicked. Deliver my family. Deliver my marriage from the hand of the wicked. For thou art my hope. Oh Lord, this morning, let there be deliverance upon your sons and daughters that are here. Lord, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. Deliver your family, our family member, from the hand of the wicked people. Lord, deliver us this morning. Lord, deliver me this morning from the hand of the wicked. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Psalm 71, verse 13, let there be confounded and consumed that adversary to my soul. All the adversary of your soul, God will frustrate their plans in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer and say this morning, O Lord, I take you by your word. Let them be confounded and consumed that adversity of my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor. Those that seek my heart, those that want to take my life, Lord, cover them with reproach. Frustrate their plan towards my family. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray and say, This morning, O Lord, this morning, O Lord, let my enemy be confounded and consumed. Let my adversary be put to shame. Let those that let them be covered with reproach or the enemy of progress Lord put them to shame this morning in Jesus mighty name we pray give me a louder amen in Psalm 118 in verse 17 say it after me I shall not die but live and declare the words of the Lord say every covenant of death against me, against my family. I cancel with blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Every covenant of death, I cancel it. I shall not die. My wife and children will not die. My grandchildren will not die. My in-law will not die. My siblings will not die. Every members of our church, we shall live and cross over to 2023. I shall not die. Every covenant of death against me, against you. I cancel with blood of Jesus. I will live long to eat the fruit of my labor. I will not use my hand to bury my children. The remaining months, the remaining days for this year to come to an end. 
I will not cry over my children. I will not weep over my family. Every covenant of death against our leaders in this church, against our pastor, our leaders, our women group coordinator, region coordinator, all our leaders in the church, every covenant of death, we cancel it in their family. Open your mouth and pray. I will not use my hand to bury my husband. I will not use my hand to bury my wife. My husband, your husband, your wife will not use their hand to bury you. Every covenant of death, I cancel you this morning. I reject death in my family. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray in the book of Psalm 118 I read verse 10 and 12 all nations can pass me about but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them give me a louder amen they can pass me about yea they can pass me about but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them every demonic spirit that gang up every evil conspiracy against you, against your family shall be scattered and destroyed by fire in Jesus name open your mouth and pray and say this morning oh Lord, all the enemy, all the wicked one that gang up, planning evil against my family, Lord frustrate them this morning, Lord scatter them this morning, destroy the plan of enemy over my family this morning every demonic spirit assigned to torment my family let your fire burn and consume them. Wherever the demonic spirit are gathered against my family, let your fire locate them and scatter them this morning. Destroy demonic spirit assigned to torment my family. Destroy every demonic spirit assigned to torment my finances. Destroy and burn with fire every power of enemy walking against my life, walking against my progress. Let your fire destroy them. In Jesus mighty name we pray in Psalm 92 verse 10 but my horn shall thou assault like the horn of unicorn I shall be anointed I shall be anointed with fresh oil this morning God will give you fresh anointing give me a louder amen fresh anointing will be poured upon you and your family in Jesus name in verse 12 the righteous shall flourish like palm tree it shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Cedar tree is the tallest tree in the whole world. This morning, your business will flourish. I said you will make progress. You will make progress. Financially, you will make progress. Spiritually, you will make progress. Your business will flourish in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer and say, Lord, let my business flourish. Open your mouth and pray. The righteous shall flourish like palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. You will grow spiritually. Your business will flourish. Your ministry will flourish. You will make progress. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Matthew chapter 15 verse 13, the Bible says, Every tree that my earthly father has not planted shall be rooted out. Open your mouth and say this morning, My body is the temple of God. My body is not the temple of sickness. Every evil plantation in my body, Lord Jesus, uproot them by fire. Uproot them by fire. Whatsoever the enemy has planted into my body that is working against my head, Lord, let them be uprooted. Let every evil plantation be uprooted. Let evil arrow be uprooted. That thing that is moving in your body shall be evacuated, shall be removed. Open your mouth and pray. Every tree that my earthly father has not planted shall be rooted out. Root out sickness of diabetes. Root out sickness of hernia. Root out sickness of malaria and typhoid. Root out every sickness that is working against your bones, against your flesh, against your vein. All those moving objects shall be uprooted. That poison that you ate in the dream shall be evacuated by the power that's in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil deposit shall be evacuated this morning. That thing that you ate in the dream, 
the power of Holy Ghost will flush them out of your system. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Give me a louder amen. God has answered your prayers in Jesus' name. Every work of devil in your life, in my life. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible says, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. But for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the work of devil. That work of devil is sin. God will destroy it in your life. The work of devil is sin. God will destroy it in the life of your children. The work of devil is rebellion and disobedience. In the life of my children, the life of your children, God will destroy it in Jesus' name. Waywardness is the work of devil. In the life of our children, in the life of our youth boys and guests in the church, God will destroy every spirit of waywardness in Jesus' name. Every spiritual attack is the work of devil. In your life, in your family, in your life, shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Poverty and joblessness. Barrenness is the work of devil. In your life, in your business, in your marriage, every work of devil shall be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name. You are delivered. You are saved. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We have some prayer requests here. And if you believe God with me this morning, as we pray, God will answer this prayer request in Jesus' name. This is a prayer request. My name is uh, Precious Holiday. I'm from uh, Macaulay District. I want God to save me and my family. God will save you from sin. Every work of devil in the life of that our brother shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray for that brother. Let's pray for him. God will save him from sin. God will separate him from ungodly friends. God will deliver him from anything that doesn't give glory to the name of the Lord. God will deliver him. Let's pray for him. That God will give him job. Job opportunity for that our brother. God will provide money for him to, 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 to continue his study. I want God to use men and women to favor me. Let's pray for divine favor upon that brother. Let's pray that the protection of God will build upon his family. Pray for him that God will, God will visit his father and change the story of that his father for good. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He has another prayer request. He prays, pray that God should deliver me and my family from death and preserve us from all evil. Let's open our mouth and pray for this individual that God will deliver them, their family from death. We have prayed that God will cancel every covenant of death in their family. God will preserve his family or family from evil. Here is another prayer request. He said, pray for peace for me and my family. Let's pray for peace in this family. Let's pray for peace Let's pray for joy. Let's pray for happiness that there shall be peace in this family. Let's pray that God should take away death and sickness, poverty from this family. Pray for the repentance. All the family members shall be comforted. Let's open our mouth and pray for this individual. Let's pray that God will take away every hindrance. Hindrance to their breakthrough shall be removed. Let's commit this individual into the hands of God. Say God should give me a better work in the company. God will give you a better work. Your children shall be employed. God will bless the family of this individual. Let's pray for him or pray for her that God should bless them and prosper them. Pray for more grace, faith to live a life that will please God. In Jesus' mighty name. Here's another prayer request. Say, pray them, pray for me. He said the battle is much. I don't want to mention the name that you wrote here. We don't mention the name of your enemy here. We are going to pray that God will intervene in this family. There shall be peace in their home. God will make their enemy to be at peace with them. Open your mouth and pray. 
all the enemy that encroach into your land. God will render them powerless and, 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 and send them out of your land. That land belongs to you and to God. God has given you that land, you will possess that land. All the enemy that want to take that land from you, God will frustrate their plan. Pray for them. Pray for this individual. Say, pray for me. Pray for my husband and my two sons. They were fighting against each other. God will allow peace to reign. Everything that belongs to this sister, God will take care of them. God will not allow death. There shall be unity in this family. Pray that God will have mercy upon them. The mercy of God will speak for this family in Jesus' name. Here is another prayer request. You say, He said, Father, I'm begging you that you give me favor and breakthrough. Let's pray for this individual. That God will give, God will answer this prayer request and give this individual favor and breakthrough. All the people that have promised him or her, they will remember you. Every evil manipulation in this family shall be scattered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's stretch forth our hand and hand over all these prayer requests into the hands of God. That as we pray this morning, God will turn all these prayer requests to testimony. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, grant them their heart desire. As many as those that wrote this prayer request, God will put testimony into their lips. God will turn this prayer request to testimony. Every challenge shall be removed. Every obstacle entrance to their breakthrough shall be clear out of their way. God will grant them their heart desire that is in line with the word of God. Anything that is not of God, that is working against their progress shall be removed. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Gracious Father, we thank you once again. We bless your holy name for your presence in this meeting. Lord, we hand over this prayer request into your hand. Your word say, whatsoever that we ask in your name, that you will answer us. And the Bible says, this is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything according to your will, that you will hear us. All that we ask this morning, according to your will, answer us over this prayer request in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask this morning that you will turn all this prayer request to testimony in Jesus' name. We cover this request with blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A louder, a louder, amen. Let's have our seat. We have only one testimony. And I want to call on Brother Matthew Sellers. Just go straight to your testimony, please. Go straight to your testimony. Amen. Come to the front. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord, my brethren. Okay, okay. I thank God for everything God did do for me and my family. That last month, I did ask my people called me, said that they get for my brother from our place to come, so stranger, go see your brother for Papa. And the day go go. The brother in the day for that place, he said that, make it no go, make it wait. The following day, make it go. And the day following day, in the night, death he come. When the, uh, your friend go in, they go call him. He no wake up again. He no wake up. People try to hire. Do everything, he no wake up. And in the morning, then he called me. I'm going. When I go, no way. I no wake up. I thank God because I called God to say that if I see this man rise up and they are alive, I go give a testimony. I pray and leave people fool. Our people there for that place, they pray. But I thank God, they last. God, they give them a life. In their life. Nothing doing again. It rise up, it do our life. In Jesus' name, I pray. In not there too. 
for my daughter son sickness catch up it try tire nowhere i know happy but the bad grace of god all the sickness god is amen in the love in jesus name me myself god you cover up me and my family and you give us power and long life in jesus name i pray amen praise the lord hallelujah let's clap a hand for jesus your testimony shall be permanent in jesus name what god has done in your family it shall be permanent in jesus name if you believe for god for testimony rise up on your feet we are going to thank god for the testimony of our brother we are going to appreciate god let's open our mouth and begin to bless the name of the lord let's bless the name of the lord let's appreciate god in jesus mighty name we pray do something new in my life something new in my life something new in this place oh lord do something new in my life something new in this place something new in my life oh lord do something new it's in the future And everybody said, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your people. We thank you for the leadership of this state. We're asking, oh Lord, that everyone will have the touch of the Lord tonight in Jesus' name. Lead your people to that promised land. All the good things you have for every one of us. You bring them into our lives even from tonight in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. You can sit down. The beginning of a journey. Have you ever noticed in your life the end of January is the beginning of February. The end of the period of darkness in your life is the beginning of light that will shine brighter and brighter. What I'm talking about tonight... 365 days of extraordinary miracles. All the days of the coming year, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. 365 days of extraordinary miracles. Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 12 you will see what the Lord is saying here a land which the Lord thy God careth for the eyes of the Lord thy God are always upon it from the beginning of the year even unto the end of the year The children of Israel were in a journey. And they were going to a land of promise. They were wondering what will it be. We are conscious of the past. We know about the present. But for the future, we're ignorant. We know where we're coming from. We know where we are today, 
but we don't know what is there in the future we can tell you the geography of Egypt we can tell you the wilderness experience at the present time but we are wondering what is going to happen in the coming year in the following year as they thought about it there were some of them that were ignorant and they said we well, remember the cucumber in Egypt the onions of Egypt for them it's like why don't we stay there all the people were saying we know what we get in the wilderness where we are the water out of the rock the manna that is coming from heaven and the big tree that were having over the Amalekites some of them said let's go back to Egypt and stay there the past for them were sure of that other people are saying why don't we stay here the rock is there the water is coming out why don't we stay here and then the word of God came to them the past may be good the future will be better the present may bring water out of the rock the future will bring honey out of the rock that's why the Lord came to assure them and he said a land which the Lord himself careth for the eyes of the Lord your God always upon that land from the very beginning of the year even unto the end of the year he will care for you hey look at verse 21 that your days may be multiplied and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them look at the last part of that verse 21 it says where you are going the future that is stretched out before you as the days of heaven upon the earth I thought somebody there would shout amen as the days of heaven upon the earth that's where you get the 365 days of extraordinary miracles there are three things we're going to talk about you know there are people that think of preaching as just talking but the preaching you are hearing tonight is a staircase step one step two step three and then you enter the points I'm going to give you there are points for you to say yes step one I put my leg there step two I put my leg there step three I put my leg there and I usher you into 365 days of extraordinary miracle number one the point of entry if a room is filled with treasure all the good good things you are looking for in life is in this chamber if you may know it you may rejoice you may tell everybody around look at that chamber there treasures are there for me 
you may shout about it you may be jumping around those treasures there will not be yours until number one the point of entry you may say it's a wonderful message I like that verse of scripture wonderful I didn't know that was in the Bible before all that shouting all that rejoicing will not do anything number one take that step the point of entry you know there are many people that they just they sample messages I like that I appreciate that that's wonderful but they never take the step I'm not preaching to just like that I'm coming to you to tell you there is something waiting for you you must enter there's somebody there you will enter what are you I'm looking for you I'm looking for you this coming year you, you will say wonderful because extraordinary miracles will come your way number two the path to excellence you know as you enter you will not be stagnant in this coming year you'll be going from faith to faith from grace to grace from glory to glory where we find you in January by February you will move forward and you must never look back you must never turn back have you seen somebody riding motorcycle and his hands are on the handles and then he's looking back he wants to have accident this coming year you will not have accident there are people that will try to distract your attention they are not going anywhere they stay here they stay there they stay here they stay there where you find them in January that is where they still are in May they will be beckoning upon you they will be telling a lot of stories don't look at anybody center your focus your eyes on where you are going any noise block your ears any distraction close your eyes to them the way to excellence the path to excellence you will not stop your journey halfway you will get there point one tell me the point of entry point two tell me the path to excellence point number three the partnership for exploits you and Jesus you are in the majority no boat can sink if Jesus is in that boat and there is no life that will be destroyed if Jesus is in that life he will hold your hand you'll be in partnership with him every day will be a day of exploits number one the point of entry number two the path to excellence 
Number three, the partnership for exploits. Which is the point of entry. It's the point where you realize where you have been, you don't have the sufficiency of everything. As well, with yourself alone, without God, without Christ, without grace, without salvation, without peace of mind, without a future, you have been struggling all alone by yourself. You have struggled for long. And yet you are not heating. You are not getting water where you are digging. It is time for you to understand. The treasure is in that chamber. And Jesus has the key. He says, I am the door. By me, if anyone will enter in. It will find pasture. He says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the way to true life. He says, why are you outside there? He says, come in. For all things are ready. All your prosperity is in the hand of Christ. Your protection in the hands of Christ. Your possibilities in life in the hands of Christ. And he says, why are you outside there? There's darkness outside. There's danger outside. There's insecurity outside. There is a Satan that is walking about seeking who may be devoured. The thief comes not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come. I came for you. That you might have life. And that you might have that life more abundantly. Why are you still waiting outside? Why don't you say, this is my day. This is my point of entry. He says, I'm standing at your door and I'm knocking. I come to bless you. Have you looked at all the people that Jesus touched when he was here? He never hurt anybody. He never condemned anybody. He never drove anybody away. He never put a bad stigma on anybody. What was the most the most common word he said? Come. 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 And that's what he's still saying today. Why will you not be wise? While Jesus is calling you. And he said, This is the point of entry. Leave that darkness outside and come to the light. He is the light of the world. Life is bitter without Christ, but Jesus Christ makes your life better. That's why he's calling you. And he says, you must take this first step at the point of entry. In Luke, Luke chapter 14. Luke chapter 14. Here is what the Lord is saying to you. In Luke chapter 14, I'm reading from verse 17. And he sent his servants at supper time to say to them that were bidden. Here is the word, come for all things are now ready. Come out. Come in. Come out of darkness. Come into the light. Come out of idol worship. And come to Jesus, the only Savior. Come out of that occultism. 
and come into the true power transforming power of the almighty God come out of your shame out of your sorrow come out of your suffering and come into the joy of the Lord come out of condemnation sin condemns us come out of that condemnation and come into justification into salvation come out of your sickness and come into his health come out of your bondage and come out and come into his freedom come for all things are now ready point number one the point of entry point number two the path to excellence you know there are people in life that they could be up there but they are down here the Lord created you for something good that's why he has reserved some promises for you and he said you will be head you will not be tail I thought it is state will say amen he said you will be forward only you will not be backward he's saying you will be extraordinary you will not be ordinary you will not just be somebody I came, I came, I came if you look at some chapters in Genesis and you look at some chapters in First Chronicles they mention many many names he was born he gave birth to others then it's gone. Birth, begetting, bereavement. Just one sentence in their lives. Even Methuselah. He came, he had children, it's gone. Nothing about their lives. The people got made in his own image let us make man in our image at our likeness let them have dominion he created you for dominion he created you for authority he created you for power he created you to be on the mountain top he created you to have a shining light all through your life he created you for a life of excellence but there is no excellence without a journey without moving on show me a student that student entered in form one and did no progress no path no journey just in in that form one excellence will not come in our lives many of us we stay in one class there's no progress there's no path there's no plan there's no project there is nothing to say I am here this month I'll be there next month I'm here this year I'll be over there next year there's no path to excellence This coming year for you will be a year of progress. But my brother, my sister, if there's going to be progress, you know what we do? We take inventory of the present time. We we'll say, this is what I have, this is what I have, this is what I've done, this is what I possess. We take inventory of the present time.
will look ahead will make a plan will search a goal we look at the resources we have we look at what God wants to make of our lives we set our focus on that goal that destiny then we look for the road that goes from here to there and every day of the coming year you will not be tired I said you will not be tired one step at a time 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 do you know that little drops of water make a mighty ocean do you know that a step, a step, a step you will get there I'm looking for somebody who will get there I said I'm looking for somebody who will get there I prophesy upon your life that place the Lord wants to take you in the new year you will get there in Jesus name what one word can I give you that will summarize together the path to excellence before I give you that word what one word should I have given you that will summarize the point of entry the word is calm don't stay there calm don't stay in darkness calm something is waiting for you what 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 can i give you now for point number two the path to excellence continue tell me i can't hear you you will continue you know this coming year the goal is ready before you the mountain top is before you the devil will say are you not tired remember one word tell yourself that word continue other people will make fun of you holy holy madam mary church church deeper deeper don't listen to them when they say that tell yourself one word tell me continue you will feel weary and tired you will hear people tell stories about you where did they get that story they are telling lies against me they will persecute they will do a lot of things something will tell you there is no point continuing these people they are in great they don't appreciate any good thing I lay my life down for them so that I can move forward I can move them forward Satan will try to tell you sit down why are you bothering yourself that day that time remember those who sit down they never get to excellence those who are discouraged and they say I cannot move they don't get to the mountain top you will tell yourself one word give it to me continue you know that's how you get to excellence that's how you will make it you will make it I said you will make it let me show you let me show you Luke chapter 22 I'm reading from verse 28 Luke chapter 22 verse 28 ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations temptations may come trials may come troubles may come 
ye are they which have continued with me and I appoint unto you a kingdom you know that's what you are going to get it's the word continue look at John chapter 8 John chapter 8 verse 31 I'm telling you, this is the word you need. Don't sit down. Don't sit. Don't, don't look back. Don't get this coin. If you get, if you get this coin, you sit down. Other people that didn't have enough as much intelligence as you have, because they continue, they continue, they continue. They will pass you. They will hold. They will take your promise. Nobody will take your place. John chapter 8 verse 31 Then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him If ye continue in my word Then are ye my disciples indeed You will continue Discouragement will not stop you Satan will not stop you Evil spirit will not stop you. And all those people with their insinuations and lies and everything, nobody will stop you. Have you ever thought about something? Anybody who has the power to stop you is stronger than you are. You thought you were strong. And then a little boy takes a broomstick and say, I will beat you. And surprisingly, you stop. That means that little boy with that little broomstick is stronger than you are. It's not what you say. It's your action. Anybody that is able to stop you is stronger than you are. You will not stop. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 16 It says Take heed unto thyself And unto the doctrine Continue in them how do you get to that place of excellence because you continue am I talking to somebody who will continue I say can I see the person there will continue you will reach that point of excellence in Jesus name The point of entry. Number two, the path to excellence. Number three, partnership for exploits. Partnership for exploits. Look up here. You say, I don't know anything. I don't have anything. I am weak. I am small. You know, if you are, if you write the letter or the figure zero, and you make it round like this, when you look at that number all alone by itself, zero, nothing. There is another number here, one. Are you following me? Where are you? Are you following me? You have one. You have zero. If that zero stands alone, that's all he is. Move. Come. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. And when you reach the side of one and you are in partnership together, one, zero, what is that? 
Jesus said all power on earth and in heaven is given unto me if you are zero he is whole and unit integral and you bring your zero life you bring your zero possession you bring your zero strength you bring it to Jesus it makes ten you will get to that place of excellence he said come and abide come and stay with me I will not leave you on my own part no matter what happens to you I will not leave you if you are weak I will take you up if you have any weakness I will strengthen you if you have any challenge I am interceding praying for you if you are tired I will carry you if Satan is running after you I will defend you if temptation comes I will show you the way to have triumph and victory on my own side I will never leave you it is for you to also have a reciprocal statement and promise as he said he will never leave you you say I myself too I will never leave my Jesus I will stay with him because zero at the side of one makes ten he will be with you this coming year will be a wonderful year all your needs they will supply look at Isaiah chapter 41 the promise he has made for you and he says he's with you he's not going to leave you he will not forsake you how can he forsake you he died for you he paid the price of your salvation and he said, whosoever comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. Isaiah chapter 41. I'm reading from verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. This Jesus is with you. Almighty God is with you. He goes up, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. I was waiting for an amen there. Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 19. I'm, I'm going to wait for you. This one, we need to breathe well before we read it. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. You know, next year is ready, prepared for you to succeed. The powers that conquered you before, that's in the past. This coming year, victory after victory. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 19. They shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee. You see the partnership. You see coming to the Lord and stay with the Lord. You see that He's going to hold your hand, He's going to take you there. For I am with thee, says the Lord, to deliver thee. 
I am delivered. Praise the Lord. I am delivered by his blood. I am delivered. You are delivered. He will never leave you. Once you come, you continue, you conquer. You come, number one. You continue, number two. Tell me number three. You are more than a conqueror. Look at this in Jeremiah. And I'm reading from chapter 15. I'm reading verse 21. I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. Anybody, they call it Mr. Terror, Mr. Terrible, Mr. Danger. God has delivered you. And this is what you have when you have been coming to partnership with the Lord. That's how this coming year will be 365 days of extraordinary miracles upon your life. Hold on to those three words. Number one, come. Number two, continue. Number three, conquer. I see conquerors here tonight. I see overcomers here tonight. You will conquer sin. You will conquer sickness. You will conquer Satan. You will conquer darkness. You will conquer poverty. You will conquer death. Death coming here. Long life. I'm talking about somebody there. Long life. Long life. Anything that will hinder your health and your strength and your power, tonight Jesus will deal with that thing. The day and the time of exploit is beginning right now for you. This coming year is going to be a prosperous year. It's going to be a happy year. It's going to be the best year you have ever lived in your life. And when I see you again, I said I will see you again. Where are you there? When I see you again, the person that never laughed, you will laugh. You never smiled, you will smile. The fire burning in the family is quenched. The sickness raging in your body is healed. The powers of darkness trying to torment you, to tear you apart, I send that evil spirit away. And the food you could not eat, now I release you, go and eat. Something good is starting. Uh, you are standing up to get it already. You are even faster than I thought. I said you are faster than I thought. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. But you must take the first step. The point of entry. The point of entry. The Lord Jesus is telling you. Come. All things are now ready. Come. All things are now ready. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you want to get into this provision of Christ, this salvation of Christ, you want to start at the point of entry. You say, Jesus, I give my life to you. I'm going to be a child of God. I come. I come out of my sin. I come out of darkness. I come out of evil. I come to Jesus my Savior. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. That hand will be a blessed hand. 
you are telling the Lord I come Lord I come Lord I come raise up that hand the Lord has seen that hand just quietly tell him over there where you are I come out of my sin I come to the Savior I come out of idolatry I come to the true and the living God I come out of occultism I come to the pure power of Christ I come out of evil and wickedness and crime I come to the cross of Jesus Christ I come away from condemnation I come to his salvation and justification Lord Jesus receive me he has received you I'm going to pray with you now Father in the name of Jesus I thank you for all these who have now taken the step at the point of entry forgive all their sins in Jesus name I pray, Lord, the conscience of sin, the condemnation of sin, the guilt, take it away from them in Jesus' name. Give them peace in their hearts. Forgiveness and pardon in their hearts. And give them the grace to go and live in newness of life. Welcome them into your kingdom. At this point of entry, I pray, Lord, every one of them will enter in to the grace of God, to the salvation of God. I thank you because I know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. God has answered your amen. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. God bless you. You are standing up. Let's stand up together. If you cannot stand up now after the final amen, you'll be able to stand up. Now, the Lord wants to set us free from anything that will keep us back from going into this wonderful year ahead of us. If you are blind today, it will open your blind eyes. If you are lame, you will rise up and walk. And you brought a child who is, uh, you are sorrowful because of that child, deaf and dumb. The Lord will heal that child tonight. Any attack, any affliction you have in your body tonight. Jesus has come to set you free. And after the final amen, that means it is so. And then you open your eyes, you discover the miracle. Are you ready now? You raise up one hand and if you can lay the other hand where you have the challenge, you have the problem, the sickness, your healing has come. We're ready to pray now. After the final amen, check up yourself. The healing is there. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name tonight. You have given us a promise that cannot fail. That whatsoever we ask in the name of Jesus shall be granted. Lord, we believe you cannot fail. You will not fail. You will touch everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every work of the devil will be destroyed. Every affliction of the enemy will be taken away. All the activities of the terrible one in their lives, I nullify them right now. 
Lord, I pray all those powers of darkness neutralize them in Jesus' name. Any evil power there, any evil spirit there, any spirit of infirmity there, any spirit of madness there, I command you come out in Jesus' name. Anything that is swollen in your body, whether it is an ear or it is the bullet, it's the bullet of the evil people. I command all the swelling come out in Jesus name tuberculosis I command you come out in Jesus name cancer be healed in Jesus name ulcer be healed in Jesus name those kidneys and those livers I command you receive resurrection power right now appendicitis immediate healing right now in Jesus name and all that pile I pray the Lord touch you right now go in Jesus name Lord I pray for those who are blind those blind eyes I command you be open and begin to see in Jesus name those who are deaf and dumb I pray that your ears will be open now your tongue will be loose right now hear and speak in Jesus name those who are paralyzed one leg shorter than the other any part of the body withered or you're having stroke Lord I pray right now let your healing power come upon them Strength come upon them. The power to activate their bodies right now in Jesus' name. Lord, every miracle that is needed here, I send forth your power. I send forth the anointing. I manifest that authority in the name of Jesus. Set your people free in Jesus' name. Heal all the sick in Jesus' name. Turn their lives around for the better in Jesus' name. Receive your healing now. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your miracle now. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. You got it. I said you got it. I said you got it. Check up yourself. Your miracle is right there with you. It is, it is done. Amen. Our miracle shall be permanent in Jesus' name. We have come to the end of this program. For those that want to see our pastor, our father in the Lord for counseling, it's not available now. So you will come back next week, Wednesday. And before Wednesday, you will come out for testimony in Jesus' name. Don't forget, tomorrow is our Thursday revival and evangelism training service. I want to implore you to be in the service tomorrow. And this coming Sunday is our comfort rally. And this weekend, we have a powerful youth impact that will start on Friday. So I want to employ all our youth, invite other youth in our community, our neighbors. Let's invite them to be here. And as we do that, God will bless us in Jesus' name. The program will start on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I think Tuesday. God will bless us in Jesus' name.